Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. May the Lord love you today. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is at Tiberias, and a great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples, and the Passover at feast of the Jews was nigh. And when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that we may eat? And this he said to prove him that he would know he would do. Philip answered, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon, Peter, brother, said unto him, there is a lad here, which have five barley loaves and two small fishes, but they are, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so that men sat down in a number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise of the fishes as much as they would. And they were filled. And he said unto his disciples, Gather up the garment, gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered together and filled the twelve baskets with fragments and the five barley loaves which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle, therefore they gathered them together and filled the twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley. And then it says, when Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again unto a mountain himself. Jesus went on to say, I am the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. He is the one that can fill you with hope today. He is the one that can fill you with joy today. He is the one that can fill you with peace today. He is the one that can fill you with love today. If you feel empty today, if you feel lost today, if you feel there's no hope today, He can fill you with His love. He can fill you with His love today. He can fill you afresh today with His hope and with His love today. He said, I am the bread of life. And if you feel that there's no hope, if you feel there's no purpose, He can give you hope today. He can fill you with His love. He can fill you with His joy. He can fill you with His peace. He can fill you today. He says, I am the bread of life. He is the bread of life. He is the one that can give you hope. He is the one that can give you joy. He is the one that can give you peace. He is the one that can fill you. I am the bread of life. Oh, let Him fill you today. Let Him fill you with joy. Let Him fill you with peace. Let Him fill you with power. I am the bread of life. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus can change you. Hallelujah. Jesus can make you anew today. He said, I am the bread of life. When you're empty and you feel lost and you feel you can't cope, Jesus can give you hope. Jesus can give you peace. Jesus can give you strength. He says, I am the bread of life. Oh, you need life, my friend. You need hope, my friend. You need joy, my friend. You need peace, my friend. You need hope in your life. Some of you are walking with no hope. Some of you are walking with sadness. He said, I am the bread of life. Wacky backy ain't life. Spice ain't life. Porn ain't life. Getting drunk ain't life. Gambling ain't life. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Have you ever lied? 
Have you ever stolen? Have you ever done anything wrong? He loved you and died for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. So come to him today and trust him today as your Lord and Savior. Don't smoke wacky backy. Don't take spice. Remember that he is the bread of life. He is the one that loved you. He is the one that died for you. He is the one that shed his blood for you. Did your wacky backy dealer die for you? Did your spice dealer die for you? No, he died for you. He shed his blood. He loved you. He gave himself for you. Does Ed Sheeran love you? Did Ed Sheeran die for you? Did Lady Gaga die for you? Jesus died for you. He gave his life for you. He loved you and shed his blood for you on that cross. So come to him. Have faith. If I give you 20 quid on your birthday, would you open the card? Yeah. God gives you more than 20 quid. He gives you Jesus. All you got to do is open your heart and let him in. And if you let him in, you'll have a peace and a joy and a hope. It's free. My mom was the best, mo my mom was the most famous clairvoyant in the country. She earned thousands of pounds every week. To go and get your palm read, you pay 20 quid to get your palm read. To know Jesus is free. To know the Lord is free, my friend. You don't have to pay a penny. You don't have to pay a penny, my friend. He says, I am the bread of life. You need joy in your life. You need peace in your life. You need hope in your life. You need strength in your life. And Jesus Christ can give you hope. And Jesus Christ can give you strength. And Jesus Christ can give you peace, my friend. I am the bread of life. The bread of life. Jesus will give you life. He will give you hope. And he will give you peace, my friend. So trust him today in Jesus' name. Amen.